What do you got there, Jill? Something every Floridian needs, a guide to living with alligators. I think that would be handy. <laughs> we go here. We go there. We go just about anywhere. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Adventure to Anywhere, and today we are truly getting adventure-y. We are here at Lake Apopka Nature Drive. Is that the name of this? Wildlife Drive. Wildlife Drive. Yes. Here we are. Welcome. So the idea of this place is, I think for the most part, you just drive it around. We're kind of, we've got some bird traffic here. I don't think he knows where he wants to go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Should I get so, it? Oh no! Oh great, now we got a bird brawl. Now we got a bird brawl. It's out of control here. And there are all sorts of cool things to do here. Well, I don't know. We've never been here before. So, but here's these little observation towers you can come out over. Um, kind of look out, look out into the wildlife. Hopefully, capture the view of an alligator or something like that. Hey Jill. Hey what? You, you want a pair of glasses? No. Here's a pair of glasses. They, I wouldn't be able to see. True. And here you can go a swift and speedy 10 miles an hour and you also have to not feed the alligators. Which again I don't know why you would do that because they would probably just eat you. If you can see them but there are dragonflies for days flying all over the place they're everywhere and me not being a huge bug person not a, not a super fan of that um, but here are some of the birds that you can see here and the animals you can see a bobcat um, this one I don't know how to pronounce that I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these so I'm not gonna say them I'm just gonna show you how about that that would that would probably be better let's just show you Jill made me stop the car because there was an alligator sighting and we wanted to try to capture him. Is he out there? Oh, he is. Oh, he's all kinds of there. Look at that guy. Huge. Guaranteed alligator. I'm pretty sure that's a dinosaur. It's also like mating season for them right now. <laughs> and we're dangerously close to this guy. So, so let, we should, let's leave him alone. Lucky? But Lucky's our car. That's what we call him. Or car, lucky. Lucky you get to be on this adventure. What, what do you think about that? So that gator was pretty darn cool. He was humongous and uh, I kind of didn't want to go swimming with him. No. <laughs> so, so far there's not, from what I can tell, there's not really a walking trail per se. I mean, you can walk this if you want. But like today, it's Saturday, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of traffic going on. I, you know, it's up to you if you want to. Oh, Gator! There he is. Oh, look at that guy. Look at him just swimming along there. That is awesome. All right, Gator, want to race? I got. I can go <laughs> 10 miles an hour. What you got? What you got, Gator? I'll, I beat him. Jill just absolutely insisted on getting eaten by an alligator. So we're going to find the right one to, yeah. Oh, this guy. Now we've shown a lot, oh, he's turning this way. We have shown a lot of alligators on our channel, but um, yeah, these guys take the cake. 
Jill, I think this one's interested in um, dining options. And I think we're on the menu. Is this guy gonna like raptor us? Is he like looking, oh, look at me, I'm a cute alligator. And like behind us, his buddies come and just gonna take us out. Rawr. Guaranteed. All right, great, sounds good. Make sure to get it on camera. Okay. So this place is just really beautiful. It's really cool. Um, as you can see, you're just, it's wide open space. Just out here in the wilderness, enjoying times with all the wildlife and a lot of alligators. Look at this guy, or girl, girl or guy, not sure what you are. Oh, he's hunting, he's hunting, he sees a fish. Go get it. Lucky, what do you think, buddy? Time to move on. Lucky is ready for adventure. And look how just absolutely beautiful it is today. It's like 90 degrees, but it doesn't feel bad. I mean, it's even it's even better since we're in the car and we can have the air conditioning on. So that's nice. But I mean, even if we couldn't, we were we were ready to and prepared to to walk this, but uh it seems kind of easier just to drive through it and get a stop, you know, stop off and then uh, kind of get out and check things out. And I didn't mention it when we were pulling in because we were trying to kind of understand the area. Um, but as you first go in, there's a, a QR code you can scan um, and it actually gives you like an audio, uh, you know, history of the place or, you know, tells you about the place or whatever. That's pretty cool. And I don't know if you can see them, but the alligators are out there swimming. There's three of them that I can count. I'm sure there's about 50 more underwater. <laughs> Look at this guy just swimming right to us. He's got his own, he's got his own brown picket fence. I'm thinking maybe this is his, this is his home. He's, he's got the life here. I thought that this maybe was the observation tower, but I don't think it is because this looks kind of blocked off and not used anymore. Yeah, no, I mean, this says restroom, so. I don't know, it used to be a restroom maybe. I thought it was an observation tower. I think it's just a once upon a time fancy bathroom. Oop, there's a big old gator out that way. Good grief. This is Gator County. Gators everywhere. But goodness, just <laughs> look how just open this is and just how just as far as you can see. It's just, wow, just beautiful. So what I don't know is if this is like a walking trail here, I mean, it feels like a walking trail because this area here was blocked off for cars to come through. So, uh, I don't know. I see a lot of bikers out riding their bikes and whatnot. Um, so, could be, it's probably used for anything, to be honest. And maybe at times they do uh, tours, maybe things like that. I'm not sure. There's a seaplane that keeps flying by and I... It's so bright out here, I can't see in my camera. So I was trying to catch him in the shot, but I'm not sure if I did or didn't. Now, Jill. Yes. The sign clearly said that this is alligator nesting season. <laughs> and and the, the most, the biggest takeaway I want for you is do not get closer for a better photograph. <laughs> are, we are we clear on that? We're clear on that. Okie dokie. Okay. So we did find a walking trail so you kind of what you do is you come kind of to an end point uh and then there is more road to drive so the part that i was just walking down that was more for driving and this right here this isn't really uh vehicle accessible so this is kind of the area where you just walk by the lake um it's breathtaking it's beautiful jill yeah you know what else is breathtaking and beautiful what me as I mentioned before, dragonflies, dragonflies, dragonflies. Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Me, not a bug person. The other day, we came home, and there was literally a moth sitting on one of the railings 
He was as big as my hand, and I'm not exaggerating. It was the biggest moth I think I've ever seen in my life. I never want to see him again. I think as we've gotten more and more busy with things, we bicker more. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a good venture if we didn't constantly bicker at each other. Yeah. That's kind of been our thing. <laughs> Some of our best, best videos, we look back and be like, wow, remember how much we were fighting that day? <laughs> guy's making cool bird noises oh he's he's over it he's tired of me sorry bird did you scare him away not on purpose <laughs> he just didn't he didn't want to be on camera oh gator oh. we should put a warning in front of this video if you do not like alligators please don't watch this video i feel like he's staring me down i feel <laughs> <laughs> i feel like he is just staring down looking into my soul right now Ooh, what was that what was what I don't know, it looked like a big fish or something. Maybe it was the Loch Ness Monster. We're not even in Scotland, we're in Florida. Then we was the Florida Monster. You're the Florida. See, there he is right there. There he is. <laughs> Mystery solved, the Florida Monster is a bird. So you probably can't see him out there, but kind of off in the distance, I can actually see alligators from here. If I can see them from here, I don't really want to know how big they are because <laughs> they have to be gargantuan in size. Big alligator. Jill, look, it's another one of those those Florida water monsters. So mm. scary. Much much like the uh, the Loch Ness monster because they got the long heads. That's yep. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what that's the story. That's what I'm going with. Let's go. So Jill, is this a lake a lake a pop a pop a, a pop goes the weasel? <laughs> you know, because the I'm... weasel goes pop. So, if you do enjoy bike riding, I would highly recommend coming here. Um, it's got a good, I, I think this path that runs along the lake is like two miles, I think they said. Yeah, we're not 100% sure, but I mean, still, good little trail. And even if it is short, uh, you know, your view is beautiful. So, we've been told over and over and over that the Florida summers are brutal. Brutal. Thank you, I couldn't find a good <laughs> word. And um, I think we're getting a itty bitty taste of it today. I mean, again, it's only 90, it might be hotter than that, I don't know. It's a little warm, warmer than what we've been used to so far. So here, 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 <laughs> that's right. So we'll see. And when that monstrous, monstrous heat does come, be prepared for more indoor videos from us. <laughs> <laughs> because we probably will not be going out in that probably not or we'll just be out at night or out at night yes yes so now we're gonna hop back in lucky here and head back on the road so we're hopping back on the road here we're gonna go across this bridge and go back into the wildlife drive Just a nice view of the lake here as you drive along. 10 miles an hour, no faster. So this is, uh, you know, I would say this is even just a great activity, you know, couples, families, whatever. Um, just because you will, you'll see tons of wildlife and uh, just a nice relaxing drive. It's very nice. So this is a really good thing to do here in Florida in like the summer because you can be in your car so you're nice and cool when it's sweltering hot and still see pretty landscape and nature.
one thing I will say is this, is before you do this, make sure that you have plenty of gas in your car. Um, because you are driving slow, you probably got your air on, uh, and you're at the mercy of the people in front of you. So oh, sometimes you have to stop just with your car running. Um, so make sure you to fuel up before you come here. Do you guys see that turtle? He's like, just hanging out. There he goes. Another gator for the gator show. I don't think I'll ever get tired of seeing them. Look at that guy. We couldn't get it on film, but there's just a, uh, a huge snapper that was uh, kind of crawling off into the uh, into the grass. He was humongous. He was cool, but I didn't catch him in time. He he ran off too fast. The turtle ran off too fast? That's that's correct, yes. Have you ever seen the Ninja Turtles? Those things move like lightning. They do. That's right. <laughs> so the first part of this drive is very uh, nature-y and fun. And then it just kind of feels like a country back road. It's still fun, but you know. So somewhere around here is an observation tower and that's what we're trying to find. Um, I'm not entirely sure where it is, but we're gonna try to find it. We need to get better at reading maps. Maybe. <laughs> I, I think, so there, there, there's a lot of places that look like they've been blocked off. So we could only go one way. And I think at this point we're heading towards the exit, I think. But as she said, <laughs> We don't really know <laughs> maps very well. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sad if you're going to be out in nature. We're going to walk out onto here with this big giant pipe underneath us. That's That seems like a great idea. Big, big pipe. I'm sure it's just water or something. Nothing that's going to explode and anything like that. Oh, this is awesome. I feel totally safe up here. I'm kidding, it's not that bad. It's not bad at all, I'm being silly. Oh, so this actually goes out. Oh, cool. So this goes out and there's, I guess this is kind of a walking trail. Awesome. Hey, hey Jill. Hey, what? It, can, can we be here? Is this part of it? I have no idea. I, I didn't see anything that said we couldn't be here. Guess but we're here. Here we are. Jill, I have a question. Yeah. Is this is this here? Is this there? Or is this just about anywhere? I think this is just about anywhere. Okay. Sounds good. We've reached it. Oh, yeah! So we're checking this out. And, you know, again, there wasn't anything blocking off. There wasn't anything that said do not enter or anything like that. But as you can see, this path isn't really paved. And it almost looks more like something is driven across it. So it's a good chance that this is, I, we don't know. We don't know if we're supposed to be here or not. So we're going to just back off because we always like to respect areas and make sure we don't go places that we're not supposed to be. This does stink though, because this looks like such a, an awesome and amazing place to walk around. And we're just, we're just not sure if we're supposed to walk it. So we're not gonna. Boo. You know, we did just pass audio tour 10. <laughs> Maybe maybe if we listen to the audio guides maybe we'd know where we were maybe off in the distance there looks like i don't know it kind of looks like it's clouding up for a storm i think this would be a very cool place to get caught in a storm i think that would be fun i agree so we didn't find the tower a lot of the roads were blocked off um in the park for whatever reason um we thought maybe we could drive down and find it uh we found like kind of a campground with a boat launch area which is part of it but then the other roads were blocked off so we couldn't find it so anyhow um this is adventure to anywhere and we hope you enjoyed the video and everybody have a good night thank you for watching Welcome to Adventure to Anywhere, and today we are at... We are at Lake Apopka Wilderness Wildlife Drive. 